welcome back to my channel. Sorry about the way I look. Today's just kind of been a low-key kind of day. I'm going to church later tonight, but I just wanted to wear something very, very comfortable and I didn't really want to do my hair or my makeup, so I did very, very minimalistic makeup. Today starts my series where I'm going to be posting every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And once I get into the swing of it, I'm going to be able to record more videos. I'm going to be doing weekly series so that all three of the videos kind of tie in together. I think it would just be fun to do it that way. It might change throughout the weeks. Weeks might be really, really random and be completely different from all the content altogether, but I thought it would just be fun. So anyway, quit rambling. This video is my March favorites. We're going to start with makeup. <laughs> I am in love with this blush. I finally jumped on the bandwagon and got a blush that everyone and their mother has been raving about. It's what I'm wearing right now, except it is very highly pigmented and I accidentally put a little too much on. But it is the Milani Blush in Luminoso. This is beautiful. It's perfect for the summertime. I am so, so excited about it. So this is what it looks like. Oh my gosh, the sheen of this is beautiful. As you can see there, it's just a really pretty corally peach shade, and I'll swatch it for you. Can you see how intense that is? It is just so beautiful, and I bet this would be really pretty as an eyeshadow. So what I might do later on for springtime, I might be doing a spring tutorial where I use kind of similar shades. So I'll use like a peach lip, this blush on my cheeks, and then also apply this on my eyes. I think it might be really, really pretty. So look for that possibly in the near future. If you want that, let me know in the comments down below and give this video a thumbs up. My next favorite is concealer. I have really, really dark under eye circles and I have bags under my eyes. And the concealer that has been wonderful, and I'm almost out of it, is the MAC NC20 Mineralized Concealer. But it looks like this, it comes in a tube. I don't think I showed this in my February favorites, but if I did, I'm sorry, I'm just gonna be talking about it again. But I love this concealer. A, it brightens because it's a shade lighter than my skin tone. And it's more on the cooler side, so it's really going to contrast the blue undertones that I have in my skin. But this is amazing. You can set if you want which when I perform and photography is on my face, I do set it with a powder. But on an everyday basis, like right now, I don't set it and it just stays right in place. It doesn't crease. It's just beautiful. So if you have really, really dry under eyes, I would definitely recommend picking this up. I think it's very comparable to the NARS Creamy Concealer and I will be picking up that one because I went to a makeup artist and she put that on my eyes along with the Becca it's like the corrector. I'm going to be getting that as well. And it was beautiful and that didn't crease either. So I think it's very comparable to this. I don't know if this is cheaper. It might be cheaper. I'll double check. And if it is, I'll let you know right here if it's cheaper to go this way versus the NARS. But yeah, this is amazing. Now we're going to be talking about three lip products that I have been loving. The first one I talked about in one of my videos and I said that I did not like it. And then I tried it again and it is amazing. It stays on all day long. It is an amazing, amazing, amazing lip liner. And now I know why Candy Johnson loves this lip liner. And it is the Makeup Forever Aqua Lip in 2C. It is beautiful. It goes with everything. It's what I'm wearing right now with the combination of this, which I got for free for a Back to Mac. This combo together, my Marc Jacobs combo with this is so beautiful. This next lipstick I'm gonna show you works beautifully with this. I mean, this is just a really versatile lip liner. All right, going back to the MAC lipstick. This is beautiful, friends. If you are looking for the perfect princess lip, I would definitely recommend getting this shade. It is just so creamy, so beautiful, so pigmented, and it lasts for such a long period of time. It doesn't dry out your lips. It's just gorgeous, and it smells delicious. I mean, look how beautiful that shade is. And my last lip color that I have been in love with, I've had to wear it for work, and I'm so glad I got a backup, but it is the Ben Nye Blushable Lipstick. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. I've almost used up the entire thing, but it is just a gorgeous blush nude. As you can see, that is so, so pretty. It kind of has like a bit of a mauve -y undertone, but the nice thing about it is it's a pink that doesn't bring out the yellow in your teeth. It's just a really, really wearable pink. It's absolutely beautiful, and it goes with smoky eyes. It goes with natural eyes. It's just, it's just a very versatile 
lipstick and it stays for at least a good two hours so that's the only downfall is it doesn't last as long as I would like granted I am talking for hours upon hours but it is absolutely beautiful and it smells just like MAC lipsticks. If you're trying to dabble into stage makeup and you're looking for a beautiful neutral lipstick, definitely get your hands on Blushable because as you can see, I have almost used this entire thing up. Granted, I have had this for about four months now, so it does last a really good long amount of time and I, I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm so glad that I have a backup, so get your hands on it. <laughs> that I have been obsessed with and I've had this for a really long time but the reason why I'm obsessed with this particular brush is because I now use it for contouring and it, this is the Real Techniques brush it's called the blush brush so normally you know you'd use it for the blush which you totally could use it for blush but I use this to contour the reason being is because it has a little tapered edge and so it's perfect for getting right into the hollows of the cheeks so you would place the pigment right there and then you can totally buff it out. And it's perfect because instead of using a huge powder brush to blend everything out, you can just use one brush. It's very easy to get it back into its regular original shape and it's just perfect. It fits right in those hollows and then like I said, you can blend it all out. It just fits in all the little crevices of your face. You don't need one of those chiseled brushes. I mean, if you want to, you can, but you don't need it. Just get your hands on this Real Technique blush brush and you are set to go, friends. You are set to go. Okay, the only skincare type thing that I have been obsessed with this month is the Mary Kay Mint Bliss Energizing Lotion for feet and legs. This is amazing. My grandma is a Mary Kay consultant, so she gave me this bottle, which is wonderful of her. But ever since I started working at Disney, I have been losing the feeling in my toes because of heels. And my feet would throb at the end of the day for being for standing in hours in heels. And I didn't know what to do with it. I would massage my feet. Josh would massage my feet. But they would just ache. And my grandma gave me this Mary Kay Mint Bliss Energizing Lotion for feet and legs. And it is amazing. It is Jesus in a bottle. It's a miracle worker. It is incredible. Seriously, guys. If you have any issues with sore feet, sore legs, anything that has to do with aching, Go purchase this. I will leave her link down below. I think she has a link and if not, I'll just leave a link for this down below. It is amazing. It just, I don't know, just from the mint, it just gives you like a really tingly, fresh sensation and it really does soothe your muscles. It helps relax them. You can just feel the tension going away and the pain goes away in a matter of hours. I mean, I do put it on at night so it kind of gets to soak in. Um, it would be great to put this on and then put on some of those really nice fluffy socks so it just kind of soaks in and just marinates in your feet. But this is just simply amazing and I'm so glad that she gave this to me. So like I said, if you want to know where to get it, I'll leave some sort of link down below so you can get your hands on this. I am in love with this headband. This is a headband that you probably have seen in a lot of videos and I get a lot of compliments on it, but it's from Forever 21. It's like a turban headband and I got it for $3.80. So cheap. So check Forever 21. I need to get more of these because whenever I have lazy days or after putting on a wig and my hair looks janky, I will put on one of these and it just kind of holds everything back, keeps it out of my face and it's just so nice. It's so so nice, especially after a long day of having your hair down. You're like, I just want to put it all up I put it up in the bun and if the front looks really weird I will just place this on and it just kind of makes it look all tied together. Next thing I've been loving are my slippers These look really really disgusting. I need to wash them, but I love them I got them from Target for eight dollars and they are these slippers right here. Oh my gosh, they are so comfy, so cute. I love that they have fur all inside. They are just so stinking comfy. I am very surprised by the Target slippers. You can't beat eight bucks. I mean, you just can't. These are just so stinking comfy, and I love these little booty things. Ah, oh, I love the little fur balls. I feel like Tinkerbell. <laughs> so I really, really love those, and they've just been a godsend for this career that I have, where I'm standing on my feet for a very long time. The next shoe that I have been in love with are these sandals and they are by the company If Carini? I'm not quite sure, but I got these off of Hot Look for $15. They were originally about $70, I want to say, or 
but I got them for 15 and they are so comfy. I wear them all the time. They are perfect. They go with pretty much any outfit. I do have black sandals, but when I want to wear something that's not black and kind of ties in with every single outfit, these are the shoes I pick. They're so comfortable. I have my link down below where you can check out Hope Look, and it is incredible. I can't say any terrible things about it. But it is this billabong jacket, hoodie type thing. It's very, very thin. It has a little hoodie, which is super, super nice, and it has a little pocket. But yeah, it just says California love, and I am in love with it. Oh my gosh, it's so comfortable. If you just want to be lazy, just put this together with some green shorts or black shorts, blue jean shorts, or even just pants. I mean, you can really wear it with anything, but just wear it with something really comfortable on the bottom, maybe some, you know, tie-up shoes, and you'll be set to go. It's just so, so comfortable, and it's great for this California weather because it works for it being really, really hot, but then it'll also keep you really, really cold. Oh, I forgot some shoes. Hold on. I'm going to take off my shoe that I'm wearing right now. Give me a second. I got to untie it. So I just got these shoes, but it's not April yet, so I can incorporate them. But they are the Payless sneakers. They are from the company Airwalk. They are so stinking cute. I love them so much. They're so comfortable. I wore them all throughout Disneyland. They didn't hurt my feet. I do have problems with my arch because I do have a high arch and if I wear flat shoes, they kind of tend to hurt, but these didn't. They're great. I love that it's a nude lace, so they'll go with anything. They do get a little dirty, so you do have to clean them very frequently, but I'm in love with it. My last favorite is going to be something that is going to be new for every month. I am going to be doing my monthly favorite YouTuber. I love to find new YouTubers that just bring such inspiration to your life. Or if you're having a really rough day, they're the type of people that you can go to their channel and you know that they're going to lift up your spirits. And that's exactly what this YouTuber does. Her name is Brie Kish. If you don't know who she she is, you've got to go check her out. A, she is absolutely stunning. She is so beautiful. I mean, it makes sense that she's a model, but the best thing about her is she's beautiful inside and out. I have been obsessed with her videos. She's just so bubbly, so vivacious. I want to hang out with her because she lives in California, so one of these days I know we'll probably go to Disneyland together. But she is just the sweetest human being. So check her out and I think that she needs to have more of a following, honestly. Like, she just deserves so much more. Like I said, her videos will truly make your day. They just will brighten up your day and you'll feel a little bit better about yourself after watching her video. So, I'm going to leave her link down below, but definitely check her out because she is amazing. All right, guys. Well, that's it for my March favorites. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below what have been your favorite comfortable shoes to wear. I know that's not makeup related, but I really want to get more comfortable shoes. So let me know what your favorite is down below. And also let me know what's your favorite mascara. I'm looking for mascaras that are going to not necessarily look like you're wearing false lashes, but in a way, yes, that are not going to be clumpy, but will make your lashes just pow. <laughs> So let me know in the comments down below what's your favorite mascara. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you on Wednesday. Have a good week, guys. See you later. Peace out.